Hi guys. So welcome back to the Love Bubber 450 question series. We have finished array part. We have made eight videos. Today is the ninth part where we will be starting a matrix. There are, I think, 10 problems in matrix. Maybe in three videos, we can finish matrix. So let us start with matrix today. Before that, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do. And if you like my work, please uh, hit the like button. And if you have not watched the previous videos, I will put that uh, playlist in the description. And if you want this questions link, it will be available there. Okay. So please share the videos with your friends also. It might help them. So let us start today's problem, spiral traversal of matrix. So we are given an M cross N matrix. Okay. And uh, we have to traverse it spirally. So spiral traversing, uh, I think everybody can understand. There is not much to explain. So spiral traversing is something like this. You go like this and yeah. So what are we doing in spiral traversing is we will be traveling in the outermost uh, square. We will treat everything like square or rectangle, whatever. So outermost rectangle and then second rectangle, third rectangle like that. So we have to print it in this fashion. We have to print the top row, the right column, bottom row, left column. Then again, the top row, right column, bottom, left column. So we have to keep doing this. So time complexity over here, we can understand that it will be order of n into m only because uh, we have to print all the elements, right? We have to traverse through the entire matrix. So how to code this now? Now coding this will be somewhat a challenge only, but uh, there are some standard methods how we have to code it. So I will be coding it and telling you, it is not that difficult actually. So let us see the methods. First of all, what do we have to do? Take the input T and N and M. So let us do that. Now we have to accept the matrix of size N comma M. Now we will need some variables. Let us take a variable K and L. <clears throat> Initially, uh, K is equal to zero, L is equal to zero. And uh, while K less than N and L less than M. So now we will print the top row of the current rectangle. After this, we will do K plus plus. Okay, then now we have to print what? We have to print the right column. Now let us do M minus minus. And if K is less than N, we have to print the bottom row now.
and if l is less than m So let us see if we get the correct answer or not. So it is basically traversing, like what does it mean by spirally means? Take the outermost rectangle then go to the second outermost rectangle and keep going inner and inner and inner. So this while loop will help us do that over here. So is this correct? How we should get the answer? So actually I was figuring out why the code was giving wrong answer and it just ended up that uh, I was not giving a endl over here as there are multiple test cases. Apart from that, this code is perfectly correct only. So the idea again remains uh, whatever I told, we have to print the first row, the right column, the remaining uh, bottom row and the left column. Like this, we have to continue and go inner and inner and inner. We have to go inside. So this is a standard procedure actually. And uh, this is pretty much simple only, I would say. Nothing so special. Just remember this code, it will be simple only. So now let us go to next problem. And next problem will be find median in a, sorry, search an element in a matrix. Write an efficient algorithm that searches for a value in an M into N matrix. So the rows are sorted from left to right. First integer of each row is greater than last integer of previous row. So I have just used a binary search over here. This program that I have written will take, uh, it will take n log n time. Binary search function will try to search for that particular element in that row. See the rows are sorted. So I can apply binary search in every row and get the answer. So this will take n log n time. Is there any better method to do this? Is there a faster way? Will it take lesser time? Will it take O of n time? I mean, if we traverse through the matrix, it will take n square. But is there a better way? Let me know in the comments. I solved the question using this approach. Is there a better way? Please let me know. In these matrix kind of problems, especially in this list now, sorting, binary search, upper bound, these will be used extensively. So you have to keep that in mind. So let us go on to next problem. Find medium, median in a sorted matrix. So row wise sorted matrix we have, and we have to find median. And we have to do this with a time complexity of R log C. How to do this in this time complexity? See, we can find median in sorted matrix. We can just put all the elements in a vector and then uh, that's all. Just uh, print uh, what? Print the middle value. R and C are always odd. So we can just put all the elements in vector, but that is not an efficient method. That is not what you would be expected of in interview. And even the question says, come up with a better solution. So whenever the question says, come up with a better solution, there will be some standard procedure. 
you will have to know those things okay like in this case we have to use binary search how to use binary search what is the search space in this problem our search space will be minimum to maximum minimum in the matrix to maximum in the matrix our search space will be somewhere in that range and let us keep a variable called needed needed will mean like uh, what answer we would expect what answer we would expect so the fundamental uh, thinking behind this algorithm is that if there is a me uh, median in a sorted array then it will be greater than n by 2 elements n is the size of array it will be greater than n by 2 elements so with that kind of a thinking we shall be solving this problem it is simple binary search problem only we have to count how many elements like we have to use upper bound function to count uh, how many you know elements uh, how many elements this middle value this whatever we find mid we have to use upper bound and count how many elements are lesser than that and accordingly we have to adjust our uh, minimum and maximum here there is no start and end there is no lower bound upper bound like lower limit upper limit it is minimum maximum that is only acting as a lower limit and higher limit so this is how you solve this kind of problem this is a standard simple procedure if you remember it it will be good try to understand the code by yourself it is actually simple only we are just applying binary search and it will take r log c time because we are traversing through like we are traversing uh, the this thing right we are traversing the row if i am not wrong so it will take that much time and uh, you know this is how you solve this problem you can have a look at the code once again minimum value we are using uh, m of i of 0 because all the rows and columns are sorted only so we just have to look at the first column for minimum and last column for maximum <coughs> so that was this problem median in a row wise sorted matrix let us go to next problem now find row with maximum number of ones now this question looks very very simple and uh, you can do it in any way like brute force also you can do it that constraints are not that hard but what is this uh, efficient way how to do it in o of n plus m time for that there is a very nice thing actually like uh, i would want to tell the approach so actually they say it is a row wise sorted boolean matrix so row wise sorted boolean matrix that means uh, how are the elements going to be elements are going to be like 0 0 0 it can be something like this first all the zeros then the ones or only zeros will be there no ones or only ones will be there and no zeros so the matrix rows can be anything like this but it cannot be something like 0 1 0 1 1 not it cannot be this because this is not sorted so we have to use this we have to use this and then get the answer <coughs> can you solve it by yourself can you try it once i have told you the clue actually so because the rows are sorted what we will be doing is we will be starting from the left side sorry from the uh, 
right corner from the top right we will be starting and we will be checking how many ones are there in this row if we get a zero we will go to next row if we get a zero again we will go to next row if we get a one we will go to next column otherwise we will go to next row like this we will get the row number we want what we want the row number we want row number which has maximum number of ones so we will be counting how many ones are there in one particular row when we get a zero it means that if we if we have got a zero the left side also is zero because it is sorted so we don't have to check left side we will go to next row in next row if there is zero we will go to next row if next row there is one we will check for the left side if it is one we will go to left otherwise we will go down so this approach if we use we can solve in o of n plus m time the code is very simple to code you can have a look at it and do it by yourself if you want nothing great over here so this is the code for this problem you can pause the video and think of the solution by yourself just remember what i told it is sorted so we can use this kind of an approach whenever we get a zero go to next row if we are getting a one go to next column like this automatically we will get the row with maximum number of ones i hope you like this video if you did please hit the like button share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you for watching bye